When I was a kid, the number one thing everyone wanted to be when they grew up was an astronaut. But now that I'm older, the question I'm wondering is, what does it take to actually become one? So for the next several weeks, I'm gonna be going through astronaut training, and at the end of this video, I will attempt to pass a real astronaut mission, so NASA has no other choice but to hire me. Now, there will be four steps to my training, all focusing on different aspects of being an astronaut, starting with physical training. So we're here at the gym. I'm gonna be training five different things that every astronaut has to go through, starting with cardiovascular training. I hope to God I said that right. Now the reason astronauts do cardio training is to make sure their hearts stay strong because when they're in space, the low gravity can weaken their bodies. So we're gonna start by doing a mile on the treadmill. And unfortunately for me, it's not just space that makes your body feel weak because down here on earth, just a few minutes into running, I was very much struggling. But hopefully I'll be ready for the end of the video when I go on a real life astronaut mission. And thankfully after a few painful minutes. Oh, all right, my legs are finally warmed up. Now we're gonna move on to the next exercise. Which is resistance training. Let's get this. Lifting weights is important for astronauts to prevent losing muscle strength and bone density while they're in space. So after a few sets of lower body training. Oh my God, dude, I'm dying. And a few sets of upper body training. Oh. I am fatigued. And with resistance training complete, it was time to move on to one of the most important parts of training, working the core muscles. Astronauts do core exercises to help them stay stable and control their movements in space. So I worked on my core muscles with a few different exercises and after a good 15 minute workout, the core is done. This next one I'm actually pretty excited for. And that is balance training. Astronauts practice balance and coordination because there's no gravity in space. So they need to perfect this so they can stay balanced while performing space missions. Bro, my legs are fried from the squats. But like a good astronaut would do, I kept pushing through the training with a couple balance exercises until I literally couldn't do them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and with my muscles completely fried, it was time for the last part of my training, flexibility training. This I'm honestly the most excited for because those workouts killed me. Stretching exercises help astronauts maintain flexibility to prevent their muscles from being stiff when inside the spacecraft. There's not as much room in a spacecraft as you would think, so they need to make sure they are able to get around easily by being flexible. And although this was the most satisfying part of the whole training session, the only thing I could think of was the next part of astronaut training, which was probably going to be the most disgusting. Part. This looks insane. It looks like a tube of toothpaste. Now, since I don't want to try this by myself, I'm gonna have Billy try it with me. What? Astronauts eat tube food because it's lightweight, easy to store, and has all the nutrients they need. It also doesn't spoil easily, so astronauts can take it on long space missions. But let's see if it tastes good. So I have four food options in front of us. A cheeseburger, <laughs> french fries, chicken nuggets, and the final one is a vanilla ice cream sandwich. Um. All right, what do you want to start with? We should try the french fries one. French fries? All right. <laughs> I don't smell anything, do you? Are you eating goose? No, I won't do it. I'm just kidding. No, I'm just gonna... <laughs> It kind of smells like paint, dude. If I was starving in space and this is all I had to eat. Ugh, oh it's like my juicy. god, no! I don't know if I can eat this. Oh, buddy! I'm going down with you. Dude, our ah. toilets are gonna hate us. French fries. It tastes like chicken. It's, it's not that bad, but it tastes like Play-Doh at the same time. Oh. Up next, chicken nuggets. <laughs> Smell that. Oh! I'm just gonna get a little sad. I'm gonna get a little sad. It tastes like cat food. <laughs> Cheeseburger. Fancy dinner day. Cheers, burger. <laughs> Meatloaf. <laughs> oh, this is the only one I'm actually looking forward to. This is an astronaut ice cream. This is the first one that doesn't sound scary. What? It feels like a wood prop. Like styrofoam? Yeah. It, yeah. Feels, it literally feels like styrofoam. What if it is? Yo. Oh. Oh. This tastes like a really nice cookie or something. Mm -hmm. So for ever, any reason you find yourself in space, stick to these not tubed french fries cheeseburgers. <laughs> now that our stomachs were full with burgers that literally came out of a toothpaste tube, it was time to move on to the next step, which was G-force training. Astronauts go through G-force training to prepare their bodies for physical stresses they will experience during the launch into space and returning to Earth. So to simulate this, I'm gonna be flying in the air in a fighter jet. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> and without wasting any time at all, I got suited up, jumped into the fighter jet, and just like that, I was moments away from feeling the most G-forces I would ever experience in my life. Okay, we're taking off. And we're flying. 
And once we got into the air, the pilot wasted literally no time at all, and we went full speed so I could get the full G-Force experience. I wonder when we're gonna start. There we go. Oh! Wanna hang out to those white bars right there? Yep, going over the top. Let's do it! Oh! Oh! <laughs> ah! And just as I thought that was fast. Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, bro, what the <laughs> yeah! And with G-Force training being a success. It was a pretty successful run, I didn't my pants or throw up. That's usually a good, a good sign. <laughs> now it is time for the final part of my training, which is going through a real life astronaut mission. And to do this, I will be experiencing real zero gravity. In space, there's no gravity like we have down here on Earth. So zero gravity training helps astronauts move, eat, and do work while they're floating in space. So to simulate this, I'm gonna be going on a zero gravity plane where real astronauts train to go to space. So I hopped on a flight, flew all the way to Texas, and it was finally time to experience a real astronaut astronaut mission it's becoming so real wow and after getting suited up i got to talk to one of the people that actually trains real nasa astronauts so what you're about to do today is exactly what nasa astronauts have to do to train before they go to station wow so how does it work like how do you actually get into zero gravity we're going to fly in a boeing 727 and what we'll do is we fly an aerobatic maneuver called parabolas to create true zero gravity. It's not a simulation in any way, shape, or form. So you're really to, up there. Yeah, you are up there in the air experiencing zero gravity. Wow. Now what we'll do is we'll reach a cruising altitude of around 24,000 feet, and then we'll start the first part, part of the parabola where we ascend and we start climbing yeah. up to 32,000 feet. During that portion, you're gonna experience 1.8 Gs, 1.8 times normal gravity. And that's why you'll see we'll have you lie flat on your back. When we reach the top of that parabola and do what we call pushing over, that's when the zero gravity phase begins. Oh my God. Okay. That's when the fun part happens, where you can float, flip, just like an astronaut. Wow. All right, you ready to become an astronaut? Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. As I prepare myself to experience zero gravity, it would mean a lot if you guys would subscribe. I'm literally willing to send my body to space for these videos. So if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you when I get back to the ground. And after all the training I did for the past few weeks, it was finally time to feel what a real NASA astronaut would feel in space. But before we could experience real zero gravity, the first thing we were going to do was experience half of Earth's gravity to help our bodies adjust. Three, two, one. This feeling was insane. I was able to do push-ups, one-handed push-ups, spins, and even try a backflip. <laughs> and although that feeling was mind-blowing, it was not even close to what was about to happen next. Because it was finally time to really experience zero gravity. I was literally floating in the air like an astronaut. I was doing backflips, front flips, side flips, all effortlessly. Even all the objects around us felt like they were moving in slow motion. But as fun as I was having, it was time for the final part of my astronaut training, and that was drinking water in space. Some of the most famous astronaut videos in the world show them drinking water in space. And now I was gonna be able to finally try this myself. And just barely before we were out of zero gravity, I did it. I could not believe that I just did all this. I just completed real life astronaut training. So, NASA, if you're watching this, I'd love to go to space, so please hire me. If you guys enjoyed this video, click another. While you do that, I'm gonna float around in space. This is so awesome. Make sure you click that video. 